got, I've got the fish frame in there as well. I'm going to go drop that in the esky for burley for tomorrow and pick up the other burley that's in there to use today. Plus the fish fillets. We'll go in the esky to keep them nice and cool. There's, oh, there's a frozen water bottle in there, so it's been kept nice and cool overnight, but there's more ice and stuff in the esky. And how's this sunrise? Beautiful. A little thin bit of moon there. Seagulls come to check me out. All right, we'll get moving. We'll go do this quick. I'm go get this drop off done. that I also need to get my undies off of here I thought I brought a spare pair but I didn't might have one of these as well beautiful morning got my undies Got my burley in there, pilchard log it is, minced up pilchards, and I got that. Just had red wolf breakfast, I'll just leave it there. We'll come back here, do Savo or something like that to drop some fish off, I'd say. Um, yep, I'm going this way. Let's get out of here. Time flies. It's only five o'clock, but um, well, slippery. Still a bit of swell coming in, but uh, we'll go see if we can find somewhere. I was keen to explore. All right, we're all packed up. We're ready to go. Um, just got the battery. We'll be charging one of them while I'm away sun will get up and make that work soon yeah everything's in that throw that on and head down the coast beautiful last night I was just sitting there watching the sunset thinking how awesome it is that I get to come check out these places like I did it before I had YouTube anyway but now that I have it and thanks to you guys watching it it means I get to do it more regularly so thank you it is specky it's amazing I love it it's my sort of thing in my element all right we'll get moving and we'll go catch some fish there's a burrow that I just came across while I'm walking I'd say that is a um, fleshy footed shearwaters or mutton bird, his home and his nest. Anyway, we'll keep going. Alright, I can see where I want to get to. I think the lower ledge might be a bit risky today. The waves are getting up quite close. We might go the one behind it, which isn't Abso in access. I'll probably throw a rope down it though. But it looks like, you know, I can at least sit higher if I need to. Whereas if I abso in, I'm stuck on that ledge. And tide's coming up a bit. I just, I don't think I want to take that risk. I think we'll go the other option. Also means I can move a bit easier. I'm not stuck on one ledge the whole time. If I don't like it, I can just up and move relatively quickly bit of a set came through on it then it's definitely not that calm we'll give that a shot sitting a bit higher with the cliff gaff and then um we can move if it's too rough oh it looks like it's going to be a prick of a thing to get there as well all right 
we're finally getting towards the ledge. I think it's just down here. Yep. And it looks good. I like the look of the water. It looks deep. Nice flat ledge. You could literally camp here if you wanted to. That would be kind of cool. But... It's heavy. Oh. going everywhere I'd say I want to fish here yep I'm finally ready to go fish so I got a Helco paddle prawn three ounce jig head don't know how deep it is so we'll chuck it in and uh, find out just take down this with a couple of different lures and whatnot cliff gaff I think that's it Yep, and we'll head down. Um, also, if you haven't seen, I've got Instagram. I'll chuck it up here for you so you can see what it is. If you enjoy watching my videos, you might want to check it out. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, let's get a line in. All right, first cast of the morning, finally. I got no idea how deep it's going to be out there. Lob it in and find out. All right, I just dropped some burley in the water, or chum, whatever you want to call it. It's just pilchards in a mesh bag. And uh, we will keep casting. <sighs> Haven't tried that way yet. Oh yeah. I was waiting for it to keep going down. Oh, is that it? Trying to decide how deep it is. Must be on the bottom. It's probably not that deep that way then. Unless I hooked up a fish on the drop, which is what I have done. That's decent. <laughs> I didn't even get a crank on that. I just cast. Oh, no. That was a good fish, felt like a dew fish to me. No! I that was a dewy. Alright, we'll try that again. Hopefully where there's one, there's more. First drop, and I'm like waiting for it to hit the bottom. And the fish has grabbed it on the way down. Probably sank straight past his head. Fish. Could be the same fish. Decent, sitting down the bottom. Doesn't feel quite as big, I don't think. I might just about drag this one up. Let's find out. What is he going to be? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Holy crap. Holy crap. Excuse the language, but oh my God. I cannot believe I just caught that. 
I did not know what I had until, so people, if you're not a South Coast fisherman, you don't realize this, this thing is the holy grail of land-based fishing here. And that one, that's huge. That's a big nanny. Just going to get a quick bit of footage. And, um, oh, that, that's just made my trip. Just one fish, just like that. I'm so stoked on that. You would not believe it. That is huge as well. It's absolutely huge. Yes. Oh, I'm pinging. I'm pinging. Oh, I need to get a snap of this. That is unbelievable. That is incredible. That is a big nanny too. Eww. Yes. I'm so pumped. I am so pumped on that. So good. Look at the big gob on him. Deep sea fish. I haven't caught one in about two to three years. Um, not off the rocks anyway. But I caught three about two years ago. Three in the year. And that's like, that's doing well getting three in a year. So let's see if we can get a few more of these. So stoked on that. I'm gonna run him up and put him um, somewhere cool. And I wouldn't mind measuring him as well. I don't know if he's a PB, but he's, my PB off the rocks is 56 or 57. Oh, he's right on it, eh? 58, 59. He cracks the 59. Let's see if we can get another one. whole crabs are not very big and we're just waiting to see if we can get a big one or not and if we don't get a big one then we'll just go in a sec last bait is just there and then we're going Let's see what happens could be a monster could be nothing. Mm. That one hooked itself. It's tiny. Hope it isn't ever a grope, even a groper, but it feels like it's a groper and it feels like it's miniature. Oh, no. Oh, I haven't caught one of these in ages. Foxfish. They're good eating. All right, we'll keep this one. It's a good size foxfish too. Foxfish, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what you call them. They, um, I've caught a few when I've been targeting groper before, but it's been a while. All right, there we go. Foxfish, good eating fish. Um, they eat crabs, which is why you get them every now and again when you're chasing groper. Happy days, haven't caught one in ages. Can't tell you too much about it, but I always put down um, 
the scientific name of all the fish I catch right at the bottom of the video description if you want to check anything out and you wonder what the heck something is. There you go. Alright, so this will be the last fish of the morning. I'm going to pack up now. We're going to head back to camp, drop the fish in the esky probably, and have some lunch, and we're going to go fish somewhere else. So, just walking along, I'm about two thirds back to camp, and I just stumbled across this an abandoned egg. I wonder if that was a nest. And um, we did have a seven metre swell, so maybe they just went, nah, I'm getting the heck out of here. Don't know. All right, so we dropped a few things off. We dropped off the longer rope, dropped off the drain. I probably won't need it. Dropped a bit of climbing gear and the cliff calf. Um, now let's go get these fish sorted out. and go catch something else. It'd be nice to get a good flat rock. Maybe here. And then we'll get out the prize catch. Really? Oh, that will work. That looks heaps better. Shush, you made me jump. All right, I'm just going to fill up this guy here while the bull seal, fur seal watches me. That's barely. Take this over and bag it up. So we got a little five eighths of an ounce jig head. And we'll go the Z-Man. So it looks like it's been in the sun a bit. Z-Man. Oh no, that one's destroyed. We'll go a new one. It's got a few of them. I'll leave that one there. That one should be new. Z-Man coconut ice. I felt like I just saw a groper just down here. But it could have been a seal. It wasn't very big though, but fairly hard to tell sometimes. Yep, fish. I reckon it was a groper, they just nailed it. Oh, yep, groper. Just a little one. First cast with the plastic, and we got one. Little one. I'm gonna put him back quickly. Uh, where'd I put my PFT? All right, so typically, this is how it works. Getting ready to do something else. Look down in the water, see a big groper swimming around. Quickly changed the plastic. Had that. I was ready to go get abalone, but we're gonna swap. It's quite a good size one, so we'll see if we can get him. Can't see him. I'm just gonna have to go for a lot. I can't actually see. Hasn't gone over here, has he? He's probably just gone back out deep.
can't see anything. One more lob. Oh, here we go. What's that? Oh, what are these? We got fish here. Yep, king, king. Oh, look at them. Look at them. There's a whole bunch, whole pack of kings. Whole pack of them. I just saw two fish go past. Oh look, he's got a groper on his tail. Have you ever seen that? That is wild. The groper is chasing the king. I want to keep this king. Um, I would like a decent amount of meat to take home. That is cool. What's under him? Some more kings. They're all after it. Look at these. We got kings everywhere here. This is crazy. I'm just going to pull him up and chuck him to the side and try to get another one, I reckon. They have arrived. That 60 pound leader is a good fish. Yes! There we go. Stoked on that. Another good fish, another good size king. Keeping him again because I'm going to eat him fresh and um, I'll just dispatch him, put him to the side. See who's watching me to see what's going on. Stoked. I hope that footage turned out because that was wild, eh? That was wild. All right, should be about low tide now. So we can go find some abalone. I've just got a, uh, I've just got a butter knife on me. You can get proper tools for it, but I didn't have one when I was looking. So I just grabbed this out of the cutlery drawer. As they're row abalone, they're only little. Uh, I'll show you anyway soon. I saw some yesterday around here. That looked pretty easy to get. Keep looking. Sometimes you flip up a rock as well and they're all under it. I haven't seen one yet. Oh, here we go. Found some. One. That one's detached itself and running away. There's another one just there. That's probably not quite size. Um, I don't really need many, but they are tasty little treats. Three. Feels like a good size one, that one. Oh, it's a double up. That's why. We'll let that one go. That will be legal still. So minimum size is 60 millimeters or six centimeters. And it's rare to see one at hundred mil. So last time I did this, I had people telling me they were too small. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Plenty of abalone in there. I'll just try to put this back carefully. Oh, yeah, a tiny one there. Oh, crap. <laughs> I was like, what's that? Ah, it tried to bite me. All right, 
That might do it. There we go. That's a nice roll. So I'm just going to prep the abs now. Just remove them from the shell. And then cut off the guts. And that's like the head, I think, just there. I think. It's either their head or their bum. I'd say it's their head. I'm not sure where their bum is. And then, after you've done that, you just give it a quick little tenderize. Probably not quite to the point where it's getting absolutely obliterated, but... Give it a good salt water rinse. No cold water in there. All right, that's the end of that session. I've been casting for ages and getting nothing. And it's beautiful down here and as much as I'd like to hang around, I'm hungry and tired. So we're going to leave some stuff here. I'm going to leave some of my fishing gear here because I will come back tomorrow to the same spot. So yeah, we'll just leave our fishing gear here. Drop the fish in the esky and then park back up to camp and that's it. And we're going to get a fire going and cook up some dinner. So I've decided I'm going to spoil myself. I'm a bit of nanny guy. There's a hole in that bag. Uh, I've got to leave the skin on most of the whole fillet so I can't really cut it up too much just for transportation home tomorrow. Oh, piss off flies. Go away flies. Very annoying. Having flies all over you while you're trying to cut up fish. I think that will do. I might just cut it up now into some nice sized pieces. Four bits and I've also got my abalone, so that will be plenty. Alright, it's that time of day. Time to get a fire going. We've got um, the nanny guy and the abalone in there with some panko. Anyway, we'll get this fired up, we'll let it burn down and then we will cook our dinner. Some oil in there. Mm -hmm. All right, that is sizzling properly now. So I'm just going to chuck in a little bit of nanny guy to go with it. Someone said, just chuck it on the coals. I'm gonna, I'll give it a shot. Oh yeah. It's not really like jarra coals though, that's all. Or like good quality coals. Oh. 
We'll certainly heat it up and soften it. Alright, surely that'll do. Squeeze the lemon. Bit of special sauce. That's my dinner. Part of. We'll remove this. Here comes the first bit in there, guy. So good. Oh yeah. All right, thanks for watching everyone. I'm gonna make a couple more of these, smash them down, enjoy that sunset, and uh, yeah, probably get an early night, I'm pretty buggered. It's been a good day on the rocks.